go back to both the Earthine and your Maman taken up. Uh, and this is where they choose. Right? It's safety, have to consider sort of ability to adapt in the early game. You know, and like a Willish has always said, <laughs> oh, too deep. A lot of CC. Prop CC is your abilities come up. Right? Yeah, I think King Arthur is an interesting topic of conversation because so much of his lane can look exactly like this. Just bullying out. 1v1 sticks to it. He's got it! Johnny's got it! Can he get out? Dragonfly pushes him away and takes him down. Now it's Rapio versus Jangaru. Does manage to get two Three ticks. For both the junglers. Cure me. Over here, the blue buff that's about to spawn in. Lugo's not very healthy. Johnny, he took the 1v1 last time and they might just take it again. He's returning a lot of damage back to Cure Me with backup from Kana. I don't think Johnny. Wants to stand his ground entire too much. areas versus the Sun Wukong, a bit more single target focused. Is Kana kind of in that same spot here where he's more single target focused to a backline? We might have to hold that as a 2v2 breaks out. Kana dashes away. Kirmi goes back in, says that's not enough distance to get away. Kana trying to take out Johnny. Johnny oh, barely doesn't get the damage. And the Sun from Kana nearly takes down Johnny, almost gets the kill in solo, but. Not quite enough for either down. of the On side of the Gladiators, Jangaru trying to steal a buff away. Gets back from Kirmi who dives in. Ultimates are good. And Jangaru puts down Johnny. Now it's just Rapio to defend against three. Not able. Additional healing anytime Kha'Zix hits you with re remove obstacles. Get that additional healing as well. Link on a Jangaru. Ultimate from Jake. Not jumped over by Johnny this time. Does have access to ult but doesn't even need it. Now Kirmi here to leap over it by Johnny. Rapio still alive but goes down and now the Hunter joining the fray. The Gilded Gladiators can try to turn this fight back around. Ultimate used by Kha'Zix to bail them out. But Jake hasn't quite given up yet. Just now spouting out Spudio might be the end of the push for the Gladiators on one side. But with Spudio in a 3v1. Could have been dangerous, except that Kirmi got hit by a bit too much damage. I thought maybe we'd see Swadio throw out the ultimate after he finds that CC there. Looks for it again, finds Kirmi, but Otto's blocked out by Awesome Jake. Should spell the end of this engagement. Purple buff spawning. Looks to me like the Gladiators want this one. Oh, six is low. Jake's a good poke, but Johnny's wrapping back around. I don't think the Gilded Gladiators know they're about to fight another 3v2. Snoopy doesn't have ultimate, Jake doesn't either. Johnny spots him out on the dash, and that's a death onto the Hunter. Johnny comes back from the grave. The can start playing around their lead in mid. Maybe one way to start finding some of those wins in the PvP. You hear me and Jake team up. Ultimate from Jake hits all three of Hex Mambo. Spudio flips away to his own death, and now Akirmi here. Four versus two. It's going to be an easy fight for Gilded Gladiators. Kana Hold on. Picked up by the solo laner as Kana has made his presence known on the left side of the map. Everybody but Jankaru is on his way now to see if they can get an extra kill. Two down on Mambo and about to be a third to the hands of Awesome Jake. The Gilded Gladiators sweep a fight. They lose out one, but they pick off three. No rotation from Rapio there. Thought maybe we'd see him trying to match the, the rotation of Jankaru instead. Trust Johnny to make it out of there alive. And Johnny did have access to the ultimate, but holds onto it, hoping for a bit of counterplay or perhaps a turnaround inside of the tower. Unfortunately for him, no opportunity presented as Awesome Jank takes it up perfectly. Say tanks it up perfectly, uh -huh. but resets the gold for you. But nobody nearby to punish means that they'll grab Rotation it nonetheless. From Snoopy that way, but it seems that he's content with sitting over in the left side of the map. Julio under fire once more by the Gilded Gladiators, but half his HP down. He's still walking forward and just taking constant chip damage from Kana, from Kirmi, even with Kha'Zix nearby. Julio's not entirely safe, but maybe if they can get one bit of CC on Kirmi, could be great, but Kirmi, fast reactions up on the tree, out of the fight entirely. Hex Mambo and Gilded Gladiators both yeah, come so the map, hands. global taunts in as Johnny. He's got eyes for Snoopy. But at the similar regard, Kirmi has eyes for Spudio. They take down Yikes. one, but... Johnny has to use the ultimate to try and kill Snoopy. Aegis stops the second swipe, but the third one is there. Johnny goes down to Kirmi. It's a double for the jungler of the Gilded Gladiator. Ahead once more, pulling the pyro. Rapio's nearby. Kha'Zix has ultimate. This isn't a free pyro for the Gilded Gladiators just yet. Frenzy pop. Ultimate by Jake. Darwin Pillars It's the Gladiators who get one. And Jake should be just fine. Runic Bomb on the ground. Wait. Does do some decent damage. Now it's all five of the Gladiators grouping up. Kha'Zix might just be caught out. He's got nowhere to run. Rapio can't save him. It's Kana with one. Now it's a 5v4 for the Gladiators. Kirmi up on the tree, and his target is Rapio. Waits for him to thunder crash away. Gets the Aegis out, waiting out on the beads, but it's not even going to matter. Now two for the Gilded Gladiators, and it could just be three. Johnny has to swing away on the bat out of hell just to survive. 
Spudio, the only healthy one left on Hex Mambo. Kha'Zix has to get that Darmic Pillar off before he dies. If he does, the fight looks ever so slightly better. At least drops the Good Gladiators lower on Disengage instead. Goes down for free. The Good Gladiators make it look so, so we simple. Send them pre-beads is Dragonfly, but... Then if you don't get it, all of a sudden it's this, this rock, paper, scissors game of I just lost my beads for nothing. Speaking of for nothing, Fire Giant pulled. Not many Mambo here. About a quarter HP left on the fire. Julio Johnny nearby, but can they even get in to steal it away? No. A Runic Bomb helps secure that one for the Gilded Gladiators. Get fire on all five and firmly on the gas pedal this game. Tier 2 burning quickly. No defense from Hex Mambo. They just let that one go down. And no damage Hear returned, me. making it happen on his own. Johnny still has something to say in the 1v1, though. Does get some damage, but it's returned back by Kirmi. Kirmi's got a couple extra levels. Jump over the leap by Johnny. We'll try and go for the chase on the Kirmi. Blink is down for 20 seconds, but Kirmi. It's not a 1v1. That Kirmi is maybe hoping for. Old by Jake. Under the tier 2, it catches out Raphio and gets the beads out of the mid laner. Tier 2 tower for the Gladiators and maybe a bit more. Julio able to get to the Ox form in time to bail away from the Gladiator's five-man core, but now the Gladiators can regroup over on left. They got a minion wave on the way. Could just start their push towards tower. Kirmi blinks past, missed the dash, misses nearly everything on Johnny, but Johnny will use the bat out of hell, fly away for the time. Objective, but Kirmi. poke is poke, as long as you don't have any way to immediately resustain it back. Kirmi up to the air, Spudio, no dash. Wants to use Beads Aegis early. Good peel from Kha'Zix, but is it enough? Silence keeps him alive for now. The tidal wave does clip Spudio, but he might as well be out of the fight as well as Johnny used the bat out of hell to try and take down Snoopy, who's in the middle of the pillars, and it's Rapio to turn it around and get the first kill of the fight. Julio crashes in off of the cloud. He's still and going? And now Jankaru in danger. Beads and Aegis away from their mid laner on the gladiators, and it's Julio with his first kill what? of the game, and Spudio takes down Kirmi. The gladiators had it all for them, and now it's Hex Mambo pushing them all the way back it's just the tanks left for the gilded gliders and it might not be for much longer jake caught out and jake taken down four for hex mambo at the mid lane darmic pillars boxes him up and delivers everyone to hex mambo the gilded gladiators just group too much kha'zix finds a disaster level ultimate johnny distracts Slow down the momentum i think that's the important part now for this mambo team as gliders had everything going for on johnny he's got the flank on this fight Titans are out. Jake charges up the ultimate, lets it rip through three, but doesn't find the damage. Spudio launches out the swords, and it's going to get a lot. But Johnny to the back line, pushed against the wall immediately, but gets uh -oh. the bat out of hell with the help of Rapio. One for Hex Mambo. Johnny half HP stunned on landing. Kirmi me. He got to turn around, but he gets the Forge proc to stay alive. He stays in the pool, but it's just not enough. Low health bars on Mambo. Jake still healthy. Kana still fighting back. It's two for Kirmi and one for Awesome Jake. It's all going south now for Hex Mambo, but Spudio will stand his ground. It's a three for two trade out, but Kirmi wants more, but Be Kirmi real. may have made a mistake. Don't dive in versus two. Kana. Wait for Kana to jump back into the fray. Rapio, he's got nowhere to go, except his death, but he gets the alternate timeline. Is that enough to keep him alive? Kirmi gets three in the fight, and Rapio will not oh. get enough. It's four for Kirmi, nearly. Regroup and quad. stop this fire giant immediately. It's Mambo on the way. Fire Giant started up already by Gilded Gladiators as Johnny is starting to wrap around the backside of this fight. Try to see if they can get into the fire, but it's already half HP. The Hex Mambo are biding their Point time toss. before they can go in. Ultimate Commit. popped by Jake. See if they can take this Fire Giant away with this Gladiators who do get the fire. Can they get out of the fight or will they even just keep this one going? Kana and Jake charging forward. Hex Mambo now on the run from the Gilded Gladiators, but they've been spotted out. They've been caught out. Kana is still pushing forward. Julio already at half HP, but Johnny's always yeah. waiting in the wings. He's they can slow play it on the Phoenixes, but difference is, last time we saw the Gilded Gladiators grouped up with Fire Giant, they, they had Two about people get caught out by that cage. Kha'Zix just does so much damage already. Waves pushing up in both lanes. Kirmi's in danger. The Gladiators need to try and bail their jungler out. Kana's able to make sure he is alive. Kirmi's still going forward, decides to finally back away off the tree. Took a bit too much poke. But look at the left side of the map, too. The Gladiators are losing out on all fronts here. Kana down a half HP, does have teleport, so it won't be entirely true damage towards himself, but he rotates back over with the rest of the team. He's not going to reset himself yet. Johnny doesn't have beads or blink here, but he does have damage and ultimate available. Jankaru spotted, needs to play safe here. Should have seen Johnny. He's in no man's land. Johnny's missed everything. Let's take a listen with the Gilded Gladders. They maybe try and bail themselves out of this team fight. 
I'm on your start. I'm looking at your start. Get to you. Fuck, I fucked it. Me. I'm playing with you, Hush. I'm the only killer. Maybe Ganesh? Rajin dash at me. I die here, but I kill her. I'm on Rajin. Play on Subi, play on Subi. You guys are in the game here. They're coming from behind. I'm looking at Rajin. I'm going soon. Silence? They're in range, they're in range. He's a dash on the wall. Camo, is he able? Fuck. We're splitting, boys. Yeah, we are split now. That was Ishtar, both relics for fire. This one's EFG. Oh, it started out so well for the Gladiators, but then right at the end, as soon as Johnny steps back in, it's all going downhill. Connor's doing his best to fight in the 3v1. He's holding his own for the time, but there's not enough sustain on that Arthur and not enough defense. Rapio, Johnny, the carries damage to Connor already. I mean, that's big knowledge there that Kana is no longer the, the tanky menace that you might think he is. If you can lock him down, Rapio can melt him. Jake, too far forward. A lot of damage going his way. Next Mambo goes in. Let's take a listen with Mambo as they try and close this out. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, I got Rat Dash, Rat Dash, Rat Dash! Holding Rat, holding Rat. Oh, oh, one. Oh, 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 maybe. Oh, she's one. Chase. I can blink in one. Chase, 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 chase. Tank, 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 tank. I can go in in one. I can go in in one. I can go in in one. Yes, yes. I'm tanking, Hachi, I'm tanking. Hachi. I'm tanking. Nice. Careful, Rat's gonna come back now. Yeah, we, 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 watch out, watch out. Reset, reset. Get Phoenix, get Phoenix. I'm backing, I'm backing, I'm backing. I'm backing. I'm going. Hex Mambo find two picks in the team fight, take down the tier two, and now a Phoenix alongside. They're all it. feeding in phenomenal information. Tank the tower. I've got dash in two. Let's get aggressive. Get the Phoenix reset. Go fire. And now they're calling the fight. Julio's gonna stun out Kana. They're gonna try and kill Julio on the side of the Gladiators, but Julio has that second life. He jumps up on the cloud. They're chasing out the decoy. He disrupts the back line again. Johnny gets spotted out though. Big miss. Jumps over the tidal wave from Awesome Jake. And now in the 2v3, they join in with Kha'Zix's ultimate, which has just caused so many problems for the Gilded Gladiators time and time throughout this game. Another pick for Hex Mambo. If Kirmi connects that dart, that's Julio's life. Unfortunate for the Gilded Gladiators jungler as Hex Mambo pull Fire Giant once more. Julio's low. Doesn't have teleport. If he resets, has to walk back to the fire giant pit all on his own. A lot man. of damage to play with. Fire giant started by Hex Mambo. Jake Near. Ultimate almost back up off a of cooldown. Kana's Nearly everybody's back. ults. Akana's up in one. Jake lets the ultimate fire to the fire giant. See if he can take it away. He cannot Hex Mambo secure the objective as Kha'Zix throws out the Dharmic Pillar and Johnny dives in but it's Kirmi and Kana to the back line have Hex Mambo even noticed Johnny and Julio dive on a Kirmi and they take out the jungler now it's Kana in the middle of five and that is no man's land for the solo laner Spudio with one and a Julio and Jake. Johnny team up to take down Jake three dead on the gladiators and make it four as Rapio picks up the double, and it's only Jengaru left alive to defend. The EU SCC on a war path. Julio stops the back. Jengaru, so much work cut out for him. The base already broken. Hex Mambo, they're not healthy, but they're going for it. They're going to walk in. Jengaru, no ultimate. He's got to do it with the cooldowns he has. Beads and Aegis, both available. Full health Titan, one versus five. Jengaru starting to poke out the tanks, but he needs all of his cooldowns to kill these carries, to kill these front. Liners. Johnny jumps it over and nearly kills him all on his own. Rampage for Johnny and the EUSCC strike once more. It, it, it just felt inevitable, didn't it? Uh, eventually, we reached a point where, where Johnny's winning the 1v1s, where this Camazot was just a massive threat. And there was never, if Johnny's there, it's just going to work for him. Early game, the answer was Dragon. Have, they've still got to like it. Matchups. Played today, Group A right. figured out, so we know where everybody's gonna be tomorrow. The Ravens will be taking on Hex Mambo. That